Welcome to my Fresh Start series, where I'll be attempting to make 1 billion GP from scratch in 6 months. If you would like to watch the previous episode or catch up on the whole series, the links can be found in the description below. These still arrows that I PK'd in the last episode definitely came in handy. 450 XP away from level 69, and as you can see, I do not have many arrows left. That guy hooked me up. There we go, 70 range. The full black dragon hide, looking good. And I'm just gonna go grab my crystal bow real quick. Just, I need to see how it looks. Oh God, it looks so good. I'm just ashamed of the coif. I'm gonna just take it off, it looks better. And I do desperately need to sort out this glory situation because it hasn't bought and it's been in here for like two days 60 attack give me my red sword thank you it almost feels wrong to be wearing this right now with only 44 strength <laughs> do you know what else is wrong that only 33 percent of you are subscribed come on boys there's only one way we're gonna get the 200k by christmas it's okay though Solo Mission did say I'd never hit 200k subs. Well, it looks kind of good though. It goes with a black dehyde and the cape, not gonna lie. There's this website where it basically tracks all of the items that buy their sale price on the Grand Exchange in Fresh Start Worlds. It tells you what the price is buying for and what they are selling for. At the moment, black masks are selling for 7 million gold, which to me right now is a lot of money. So we are going to start working on the requirements to get ourselves some black masks. And hopefully by the time we get one, they're still going to be very expensive. I've actually been up to some stuff on the alt account while I've been AFK training, which I will show you guys in just a second. But first, let me claim my combat bracelet. I've managed to get myself over 3,000 buckets of sand and soda ash, which is going to be really, really nice crafting XP. Oh my god. I just sold four uncut dragon stones for 161k each. Oh my god, that is crazy. We're back to a mil cash. What is going on with the economy? With my newly found wealth, I feel think I'm just going to go ahead and see if I can buy a glory. That is a very nice upgrade, especially alongside the bracelet. This is going to be my best in slot amulet for quite some time. And now it's time to do some more quests. Bertie fire making. This is another one of those quests that I love where you go from level one all the way to level 24. 2.4k fishing XP. So it begins. Thousand cooking and a thousand slayer and the first RFD quest down. Nine herblore and we haven't touched the potion. More herblore XP. We have a fair few quests ahead of us and because I'm running all across the game right now, I think it's time I go grab myself some weight reducing armor. Starting with the boots of lightness. I think I'll do the graceful top and I'll go for the gloves as well. You have no idea how useful these strange fruits have been. I'm honestly tempted to send my auto account back there because these things are an actual lifesaver. And this is going to be the nature spirit completed. 3,000 crafting XP. Francis here is going to teach me a thing or two about blowing glass. At least I think he is. Is it this guy? Who do I talk to on this island? I swear there's an NPC. Well, it's probably Fritz the glass blower. And now begins the crafting grind. At the moment, I have a bunch of quests which are locked behind crafting requirements. I need to get level 31 for the Lost City. I then need 42 for the Rum Dill. And then I need 45 for Cabin Fever. And because I'm going to be playing on these servers long term, I'm inevitably going to have to get level 70 crafting for Monkey Madness 2. I have not even blown any of the glass yet i have just been making it and from just making the glass i have managed to get 45 crafting which is where i'm gonna stop and this is gonna be the lost city completed i just realized that we have officially rolled over a hundred quest points my farming level is about to shoot up beautiful one of the things that i need to do right now is get 50 smithing it's crazy how much xp you can get from just doing quests 36 smithing i've not done any Fairy rings have now been unlocked. Another 6,000 smithing XP. I've never been here before in the giant's foundry. This place is really cool, actually. I think this might be the method I use. I've just finished my first sword in this mini game, just because I want to see what the XP rates are like. I don't even know if I made the right one. We did something. We gained some XP. I don't know if I messed up because it was a thousand. I'm going to do a couple of these. We'll see how it goes. Do I get a bigger XP this time? Oh, that is more like it. Interesting. I think I've got the hang of it now. 
the final sword really quite impressed with this place it's my first time being here and the xp for the supplies that you use really nice with the bronze and iron bars that i'm doing i would say this is definitely cheaper than doing gold ore at the blast furnace probably one of the nicer things is that i didn't have to go out my way to get the ice gloves and fifth the smithing, which is one of the requirements for the cabin fever. One step closer! The giant dwarf has the longest cutscenes, I swear. I needed to be able to do it so I can complete this quest of Forgettable Tell, which rewards you with 5,000 farming XP. And since I need level 37 farming right now, that XP is going to go a very long way. The quest I'm doing right now has a fair bit of downtime in it, so I am just tending to my beautiful little garden here and i can't believe it but nothing died i don't know how this happened farming xp it's crazy how slow farming is to begin with it definitely picks up but in the beginning it's very slow another rfd quest completed and 30 farming and that means we can now go and plant willow saplings. It is officially one week since the release of these servers. I just thought it'd be interesting to take a look at the stats, which as you can see are coming along really, really nicely. I'm just working on 45 fishing right now. This is my account playtime. I'm not gonna figure out how many hours that is per day. It's a lot. And there we go, 45 fishing. That is 37 farming. We are technically done with the farming grind. Although I am going to need to get my farming up in the future, so I'll probably just continue doing this. It is now time to train the final skill requirement. I need to get myself level 42 Slayer. This definitely doesn't feel like the most efficient gear I could be using right now. That is going to be our first Slayer task completed. We gained just under 12,000 XP. We killed mostly high-level bandits. Oh, black demons. I mean, it's a good task. They just have so much defense. I'm going to go test what the XP rate will be like because that's almost too good to turn down. I've just sold some of the coal that I had for... 400,000 gold. That is insane. And I think I'm going to do the same for the uncut dragon stone as well. We have 1.3 mil cash. I would really like to grab myself a cannon right now. I have the quest done. It's just a question of can I scrape together enough money to make this realistically affordable. First things first, I want to know how much a cannonball is. 550 GP per cannonball, but it's going to make such a massive difference with this grind. I'm just looking at my bank right now, trying to find what I could sell. I've discovered covered my molten glass. I just sold one for 1,050 gold, which means that we have about two mil here in molten glass. And we are making a big investment into the account right now. Four million cash. I'm going to go purchase myself a cannon and we're going to buy ourselves a bunch of balls. We've just sunk so much money into these cannon balls. 750k. The cash stack is so small. Task is being completed and we gained 17,000 Slayer XP. Come on, please, please. Mammoths. Okay, that's a really good task. These mammoths have a hundred less defense than the black demons, which means I'm actually going to be able to hit. Right, we just got 40 Slayer. I can tell you this. I already know that this task is going to be really, really fast. We only got 80 left. Laren's key. Okay, let's go. We may actually make some money from this task. We've basically got the Slayer level that we need off of free tasks, which is kind of nuts. I do need to get myself level 58 Slayer. So if we keep getting tasks like these, it's going to be a breeze. That pretty much took us bang on 30 minutes because my cannon was about to be repaired. This is how the XP was looking. 38,000 Slayer XP an hour. These tasks are really good. The easiest way for me to complete this task is to go to the Wilderness Dungeon. The only problem with that is that it is completely multi in there. I'm actually going to degrade my gear completely. So if I do manage to die, I will probably just lose some cannonballs instead of losing the Black Dragon Hide. To give myself even a slight chance of being able to survive, I've decided to run up here to the Fountain of Rune. I'm going to be charged of my glory because the Greater Demons are in level 29 Wilderness. So if I'm quick enough, I can definitely get a tally off. Never mind. <laughs> oh my god, since when? They must have done that a while back to counter the bots that were doing this. That makes sense, actually. Insert the next clip of me potentially being ravaged. <laughs> yes, you're on video.
And yet another instance of Jagex punishing regular players to punish the bots. We managed to complete the task, and I think with this room full hand we got, we may be able to financially recover. And we got 44 Slayer. I need to get a charged glory, because right now the Ring of Wealth isn't buying. It's okay though. Hopefully the next task will be nice. I've just purchased myself a glory with six charges, so dying should now be a thing of the past. I just got a magic shortbow scroll. Might actually come in handy at some point. Hopefully we get some more of those. I think they might sell for something. My god, doing Wildy Slayer was genuinely like the best thing I could have done. I can't wait to open up these keys. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god, I didn't even realize that was a thing on here. I doubt it's worth anything. <laughs> we'll take it though. Oh, shit! Or of a parchment. It's definitely not worth a mill. It might end up being worth a mill at some point. Okay. Oh, and a Lawrence key. The Tour of a Parchment actually sold for Picares right now. That'd be a really, really good price. 200k as well. Okay. And while I'm here, I think I'm going to purchase myself another thousand cannonballs. Please. One more good task. Anku. Oh my god, that's so good. I think this is like the fifth in a row. Lesser Demons again. I'm already 49 Slayer, so this is going to get me level 50 easily. The tasks are so good for cannoning. <laughs> That was a lot of people. <laughs> what the fuck? There's like 20 people. I've just sat here for like five minutes reflecting on what just happened. And I just realized those guys are probably having the best time. That seems like a lot of fun. I'm going to go do something else because I imagine they're going to be doing that for some hours. Here we go. Rum deals being completed. 48 prayer. Do I get anything else? 46 fishing. Oh, I got farming XP from that. Nice. Cabin fever has been completed. We now have all requirements now to go and kill ourselves the cave horrors. Except from we need the Slayer level. I'm going to go try reclaiming my cannon and hopefully the next few clips is not going to be me getting PK'd by 20 dudes. Nah, there's no way. I thought I finished my task. There's one left. I don't know why I keep doing this really ditzy stuff. I think it's just uh, sleep deprivation. It's probably what's doing it. I've just done my first ever jellies trip, and I got all of this, three rune kite shields in there, plus the one that I'm wearing, and the two in my inventory, and a Lawrence key. That's like a few hundred K right there. I genuinely think that was the best Slayer task we've had so far. Look at this. Look at all the loot we just got. Two faff of keys, like 60k. All of this is worth money. At the time of recording these clips, I was completely out of it. I'd been awake for over 24 hours, and I was urgently grinding away, trying to be one of the first people to get some of the first black masks. And something that I just quite frankly didn't explain at the time because I was just trying to stay awake was exactly how I continued to afford to buy cannonballs when they were at such an extortionate price. The way that I was able to do it was because of the drops that are unique inside of the Slayer Caves. You get an abundance of blighted food and restores, which I was able to use, and the excess I was able to sell, not to mention all the blighted rune packs, entangles, snares, TBs, etc., all of which go for really, really good GP right now because a lot of people are PK, and not to mention all of the high alks that come along with doing Slayer, which I was reselling all of it to repurchase cannonballs and it's worth mentioning that it was a little bit tight towards the end but this was due to the fact that i wanted to open up all of my larens keys in one big finale if i opened them when i received them this wouldn't have been close even with purchasing the cannonballs for about 500 gp each i am so ready to get this level right now i've been up all night i've done all of this in one go and after i kill this hellhounds that would be 58 Slayer. Meaning we can now kill the cave horrors. I am determined that I'm going to go get myself a black mask before I pass out. I need to. The price is so stupid right now. I have to go and get one right now because I am very poor and black masks are very expensive. But before I do, I have some Laren keys that I'd like to open up. Can you imagine if I were to die right now with all 20 of these keys? Coal or steel bars? We've made a lot of money. Wow, just a solid 136k. Come on, where are my steel bars? Yes, alright, that's huge. Yes, let's go. Ooh, dragon dart tips. I wonder if I can sell those. Oh my god, that's huge. We just hit the absolute jackpot with that one. Holy shit. We got a lot of iron ore from that. Look at that. Looting bag. 2.5 mil. 
but this is going to be a hell of a lot more. 1,000 coal, 429 silver bars, 300k cash. I'm going to go sell this, and we'll see what we got. I've sold off all of the loot that we got from the Lawrence Keys, and as you can see, we have 3.3 .3 mil cash and a few leftovers. Everything in the game right now is trying to stop me from doing this. I need to go and get... 40 cooking. It's a good job I didn't sell off the tunas that I just got. There we go. 40 cooking. I've been waiting too long. Let's go get them. It's working! Okay. I think I have everything. This is exciting. Oh, I'm so ready to make some money. I don't have the best of stats. They're okay. The saving grace here is the fact that I have the cannon. The cannon makes up for my terrible gear and stats. I don't even have like a berserker helm or a defender. I need a black mask. That is all I care about. I have this add-on on Runelight where effectively it shows you supplies that you've used. I wanted to take a look at how many cannonballs it took me to get 58 Slayer. I've only been here now for 10 minutes, so it looks like it took us 14,000 cannonballs in total. Pretty much the entire Slayer grind I was juggling between running out of cannonballs and selling off the little pieces of loot that I was getting. I was able to self-sustain, and at the end when I opened up the Lion Keys, I mean, we broke even at the very least. I've just finished my first trip. Take a look at all of these seeds. One of the many reasons why the cave horrors are definitely worth doing. Yo! Yes! Let's go! There it is. Oh, that's so good. We got really good drop rate for that. 488kc. That's basically bang on. All right, let's go chuck this in the G. That is so good. Let's see how much we can sell this thing for. According to this website, somebody sold a black mask 12 minutes ago for 7.1 mil. I'm just going to chuck it in for 7 mil. To my understanding, this wasn't the first black mask but it was one of the first. And it looks like staying up all night paid off.